thank you very much everyone to participate to this uh, round table discussing about uh, the N N NXP i.mx ATEM plus solution for social distancing developed and designed by Dave and Betty Systems. F first of all, I want to introduce my company. Dave and Betty Systems is a company that develops system of module technologies since uh, more than 20 years, mainly based on ARM and FPGA uh, system on chip, uh, f coming from NXP, Xilinx, ST Microelectronics, and Texas Instruments uh, silicon vendors. Based on this uh, building block, Dave and Betty System is uh, able to provide uh, as a service the design of carrier board for electronic carrier board for its products, integrating on board technologies like Wi Fi, cellular modules, camera modules, display and touch uh, with uh, GSM 4G, narrowband IoT or CMOS and displays with LVDS, MIP interfaces, and so on. With these uh, background electronic capabilities, Dave and Betty System nowadays offers a wide portfolio of uh, services and solutions in the software and mechanical design area. So Dave and Betty System is ready to support you during the uh, design and integration of your uh, enclosures, in aluminum, plastic, or whatever it is. And uh, most important point uh, uh, on the software side. So Dave and Betty System nowadays is able to support board support package development on Linux, Android, real-time operating systems, and uh, uh, the FPGA design and validation. In particular, Dave and Betty Systems is uh, providing for its uh, system of module and its solution a uh, U-boot and kernel source code and Rufal system based on uh, Yocto building system. And uh, if you need also, we are able to provide build root uh, and Debian as well. And uh, to provide solutions, uh, application solutions based on the uh, most known uh, software systems like Qt, Java, web browser applications, Python, and so on. On the software integration side uh, in the industrial world, we know very well uh, the field bus integration and the main industrial protocols like uh, the IEC 61131, the PLC or SPS, uh, the Modbus uh, TCP 485 uh, IP, and uh, the uh, industrial buses, as I said, uh, Ethercut, uh, master, uh, master or Slave integration, and IOLink. With uh, these uh, basic services, Dave Embedded System is a perfect partner for designing your embedded system solution. And we add at the end of this. Uh, design process, our manufacturing capabilities. So we are able with our production lines to manufacture these products and provide you the finished product assembled, tested and certified. New, 20, uh, in the last couple of years, we have introduced additional services in our portfolio and in particular, the uh, around the Internet of Things uh, Form 0.0 Industrial Industry 4.0 concept and the machine learning AI concept. Dave and Betty System today uh, has also enlarged uh, its capabilities in the uh, human machine interface and graphical uh, user interface design using uh, Qt, Java, uh, web browser application, as I mentioned before, but also Crank software storyboard solution. Regarding the Software integration. Nowadays, we are able to provide you services, uh, developing solutions, software solution on the edge side of uh, on, so on the on-field uh, software development and on the cloud side, providing you uh, solutions for uh, your interface and your cloud-based solution. We have discussed discussed about this yesterday in another section, and you can review it. Uh, on our website, on our YouTube channel. Last but definitely not least, uh, and this is a part of the discussion today, part of this roundtable, we offer AI-based applications. So Dave and Betty System in the last year has invested a lot of time. We have discussed about this uh, on Monday uh, in another roundtable 
yet available on our website. And uh, uh, we have uh, our internal background and know-how developing uh, training uh, and training models in, of, based on machine learning, especially on nowadays on platform that has the capabilities to run inference models in hardware uh, directly on the target, on the edge. Dave is a company that is stably growing also in 2020, even the pandemic, even if there is this pandemic, and uh, uh, we are growing two digits stable since many years nowadays. We are a small medium enterprise uh, listed in the innovative uh, list of uh, small medium enterprises, and we are a, a, a company with 20 people working in uh, Porcia, Italy. Uh, Porcia is uh, located uh, in the northeast of Italy, not far from Venice, and we have an office in uh, Munich where uh, our colleague, uh, Mr. Uwe Ruggers, is uh, leading the DACH market. After this uh, brief introduction, I will start with uh, the core of this, uh, of this uh, presentation, of this roundtable, around uh, the social distancing uh, uh, solution based uh, on uh, NXP i.mx 810 plus we have developed uh, here in Dave and Betty system. So first of all, I want to, to let you know what, what is social distancing uh, issue for us. So now there are two guys here, Andrea and Matteo, and they are talking each other out of our headquarter and uh, looking to them, we don't know and they don't know if they are respecting the social distancing, which is very important nowadays in the pandemic uh, uh, era. So what we need actually nowadays is to find a solution in order to find these guys, understand their position, and calculate if they are or not respecting the, the distance between each other. So this is a, a, there are many possibilities how to solve it. Many of the international application that was born during the last year were based on your mobile phone using the Bluetooth technology, but we have seen that for public areas and for other areas, areas a machine vision technology is a modern way to answer to this question. Now, I want to show you and let you see a video which is also available on our YouTube website. So let me just uh, start this video. Let me just start. Okay, now here you go. Welcome to this demonstration of artificial intelligence applied to our daily life based on the latest member of the i.mx8 family from NXP. I will try to restart yes? it because there is some delays. Welcome to this demonstration of artificial intelligence applied to our daily life based on the latest member of the i.mx systems who developed a stand developed a stand check if we can do something because there is a problem with the connection Welcome to this demonstration of artificial intelligence applied to our daily life based on the latest member of the i.mx8 family PV and Dave Embedded Systems, who developed a standalone camera system for social distancing using an open source software provided by Alessio Del Bue and his research team at the Instituto Italiano di Tecnologia. The IIT is a foundation carrying out research in robotics, life science technologies, computational science, and AI. Dave Embedded Systems is an Italian company focused on providing embedded solutions, including IoT and machine learning services. A recent member to our portfolio of system Orca, based on i.mx 8M+. 
The i.mx8m Plus family focuses on machine learning and vision, advanced multimedia, and industrial automation and features high-speed interfaces along with industrial reliability. Effective monitoring of compliance with social distancing is one of the possible applications where the i.mx8m Plus is the right Cortex A53 processor, a neural network processing unit, as well as camera inputs with image signal processors. The ARM cores are used for video pre-processing and the graphical user interface for human interaction. The MPU is the key to accelerate the inference process required for the people detection and social distancing computation, which is the core task of this application. In this demonstration, we have several individuals walking while being watched by a surveillance camera. The i.mx8 their skeletons and calculate their physical distance in real time. Then, a graphical user interface shows whether or not the minimum social distance is respected by superimposing circles of different colors around people according to their distance. Okay, so I'm sorry, but there are some problems with connection, so it's not, it's not possible to have a fluid view of this video uh, like it was possible in the last in the recent days but you can review this video clicking just on youtube this presentation is available so you can click here and review in detail the video or otherwise uh, you can see it also in our booth here at the embedded world digital edition so i'm going further i will explain in detail what we have done in a, we have used a, a platform the hardware platform we call it sbc orca and it is based on NXP i.mx810 plus. We have two versions, we have the SBC and we have also the system of module based on the same processor. And this solution has uh, interesting features like uh, all, both dual ethernet available gigabit with a TSN support. We have two USB free available with uh, power delivery support. There are the standard interfaces like microSD, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, and uh, CAN, uh, I2C, SPIs, and PWM. There is an RS-485 industrial already integrated on board. And uh, the most important part uh, is uh, uh, the one that uh, is connected to the two cameras inputs available both together with uh, the ISP channel that can be used for a, a design a stereo camera. And the, this single board computer is designed in order to provide you a, a direct 22-pin Raspberry Pi standard connection. And uh, last but not least, uh, for, for the display side, so for the multimedia side, we are providing the output for HDMI, dual LVDS interfaces, and all the audio interfaces uh, available from the software. With, within this hardware that was uh, showed in the video that we were not uh, really able to see very well, uh, we have uh, integrated a, an interesting architecture. Again, the explanation in detail of, uh, this, uh, of this structure is available on our wiki website. You can have access uh, to this presentation and so you can also get this link at the end of the meeting where the Inference process, so the machine learning process is just a small part of the complete activity we have carrying on. So basically what we are doing is starting from a frame input, coming from the ISP, uh, ISP input, we were able to capture every single frame put in a FIFO and this part with the pre-processing and the filling is completely performed with the ARM cores and provided to the NPU. The NPU is doing a, a dirty job to find the people in the image and identify who is a human body uh, against the, the background noise uh, of uh, element, like in the, in the image, uh, like in this small image, the, the road with the, the, the signs and so on. So once the NPU has done its job, we have the indication of how many people we have in the image and uh, where these people is. So with this indica indication that the machine learning, uh, new, the convolutional neural network provides us, we are able to split the dirty job of uh, 
make the human body deposing, the so-called posing, uh, within the arm cords again. So we are doing the exportation of the results of the convolutional neural network to make the posing, understand where are the joints, and calculate the social distancing. With this uh, IP that was uh, generated uh, uh, together with the IEP, Istituto Italiano di Tecnologia, we were able to provide an output uh, at the end of this uh, 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 algorithm with uh, the human bodies. Again, we've overlapped the joints of their body with the calculation of distance. So with this architecture, uh, where Dave and Betty system has uh, worked for a lot of time in the uh, um, uh, for, for the improvement of the performances, we have reached the capability to, to work with this uh, application at uh, about 20 frames per second, 25 frames per second, thanks to the optimization we have introduced uh, at the ARM code, ARM code level and with the TensorFlow Lite uh, transformation of, uh, of the original TensorFlow uh, algorithm, algorithm and data set using the convolutional neural network and the inference and now is taking about two milliseconds less than two milliseconds honestly speaking and the rest of the time is required for the optimized arm code to to calculate the posing and the social distance with this result uh, nowadays, uh, we see, uh, except for the pandemic situation, so the social distancing monitor, we, which is, of course, an interesting topic, but uh, uh, is something that we hope that will uh, <laughs> soon uh, uh, be just a, 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 ju just a reminder of our lives. Uh, we see a possibility to apply this kind of technologies in the video surveillance world in general. Uh, for instance, for the hazardous areas working, so personnel that is working with hazardous tool that can be monitored and advised via an API, via a mobile uh, mobile phone uh, application that is entering in an hazardous areas before entering it. So it will be advised thanks to this video surveillance monitoring. The same can be done with advanced training. So monitoring is already done nowadays with uh, very big uh, processors, but now it's, it can be done with processor that consume, and this is the most important part, three to five watts. And uh, they are very small. They don't need a fan, uh, and they can be integrated on the edge directly. So monitoring this kind of situation is a possible application. Another possible application is to monitoring and advanced training, providing people with new tools for control the training, and of course, continue monitoring the public areas. Another interesting field where Dave and Betty system is working is in the medical analysis and in the tracking system. Uh, so applied to cameras that are looking to our fluids, our stuff in order to to make analysis of distancing and statistical analysis about uh, about your body and the tracking system of course means uh, to to check the flow process uh, around uh, our industrial applications in order to check if everything is going well or not closing the loop that uh, very often in the industrial process is, is a, an open loop so with these uh, ideas i conclude this uh, this roundtable, this presentation. Now I'm open to answer to your questions. And uh, please apologize me for the problems with the display of the video, but you can uh, see it again uh, later on the day on our website or on the book. So thank you very much. And if you have any question, don't be shy, please. Of course, if you want to, to write me down at every time, I just put here my email address so you can, uh, on the chat, so you can contact me directly or through the stand, uh, through the embedded word application.
as you prefer if you have other questions No questions. I just add uh, some uh, some points. Uh, we are now working in the industrial market with uh, these AI and machine learning uh, applications and tools. And uh, the the most important problem we are facing is the data set creation. So we are developing some strategies in the data set build of uh, for industrial application where the number of let's say information especially in the, in the defect detection is uh, is, uh, is very small so we are really working hard uh, on uh, on defining uh, artificial data set uh, using the most known technology in literature so uh, apply to the edge because this is something very important for us so applying to the edge uh, with components that uh, have a very small consumption power consumption so uh, if you have any question Please don't anticipate, and we can be in touch about uh, about this topic. Okay, great. If there is no other questions uh, or anything, uh, we, we can uh, switch off a uh, few minutes earlier. So once again, thank you very much for, for your participation. And uh, again, if you have any question, any, uh, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you and have a good show and good day. Bye. Thank you, Manuela. Bye. Thank you very much.